Labour Party's nominee for president in the recently concluded presidential election, Mr. Peter Obi, has criticized the Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Physical Commission, ROMAFC, for its recent proposal to raise the salaries of elected officials and public employees by 114% as a result of recent reports on various platforms that the federal government is planning to do so. Welcome back to Prospect Channels TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. This is really very bad. More problems boiling for Tinubu and Shetima as angry Peter Obi leaves Nigeria in shock, sends strong message to Tinubu. Mr. Peter Obi has criticized the Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Physical Commission, RMSFC, for its recent proposal to raise the salaries of elected officials and public employees by 114% as a result of recent reports on various platforms that the federal government of Nigeria is planning to do so. He also criticized politicians for allowing this to happen, including President Bola Metinubu and his vice. In a stirring of twists, on Thursday, Ubi expressed his displeasure with what he considered as insensitive pay pay rise for politicians. Given the recent economic climate and the challenges facing the populace, he criticized the pay increase as an act in poor taste. He advised authorities to concentrate on lowering the cost of governing and relieving citizen suffering. In his own ways, I learned with considerable reluctancy that the Revenue Mobilization and Physical Commission, ROMAFC, had approved a 114% rise in the salary of elected politicians. The governors, the members of Congress, and those including judiciary and public office. If there is even a need for such a compensation increase, now is not the moment. A tropical Nigerian nowadays must contend with hard economic realities, and more than 130 million people in Nigeria are currently considered to be living in poverty. At this time, the government's most, most recent reform Initiatives have dramatically raised the cost of living. One would anticipate that public officials and leaders would concentrate on reducing the burden of governance and erasing Nigerian suffering. Now is the time for innovative solutions to help the majority escape poverty. Therefore, the leaders should put the needs of the general public and those in lower social classes above their own. Shakespeare's Julius Caesar famously said, What touches us, ourselves, shall be last saved. Therefore, the leaders should put the need for the people and those in the lower social classes above their own. As a Unyekbere, the lead director of the Center for Social Justice, CNESOJ, also reacted to the proposed pay rise by describing it as absorbed, illogical, and contrary to common sense. He said the, pro the proposed increase is irrational, illogical, contrary to reason and common sense. Considering that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has been asking Nigerians to sacrifice and offer something in national interest, the expectation was that 
such sacrifice by the popular masses of Nigerians, the poorest of the poor would have been matched with a greater sacrifice, which should have been announced by the leadership class who instructed us to tighten our belts. Hmm. I don't know why Nigerians behave like robots. Even robots have control. This incitement of 100 and increment, increment of 114% was already on during the former president, Buhari. We just need to advise the new president that it can never be accepted not misleading citizens like you are, that one like them. Peter will be, when you are governor, why not fight for reducing all nonsense money collecting that time? Please, where's it's not sweet on your mouth now because you, you lose the election. Not all Nigerians is senseless like those following you. But which I can't, where is the money today? Be smart. Oh. Nigerians are reacting. Tinubu and the political vampires are after the treasure of Nigeria. Sikina. Nigerians is not showing any sign of improvement. Oh. It is still the same old method of whining every system in favor of politicians. Whereas they lead, they, they, they lead passage through hardship and everyday struggle for survival from july 1st electricity tariff will increase who will fuel the impacts apart from the same lead fuel price escalates the same group of people will feel the impact no matter how tough the country becomes it does not affect politicians yet they are bent on raising their salaries okay guys these are some reactions from nigerians what, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.